Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com here and in this video I'm going to point out a mistake I've seen students make in interpreting coefficients on dummy variables. Let's first recap on the typical interpretation of a coefficient on an IV in standard regression. Now in standard multiple regression the, the interpretation of the coefficient on the I, on AIV is as follows. The model predicts that for a one unit increase in the IV in question, the DV increases or decreases by beta units, where this beta is the actual figure from SPSS that we obtain, holding fixed the other IVs. Now this interpretation is fine where the IV is continuous. Uh, dummy variables are not continuous. So let's look at this example. I've got earnings. This is fabricated data, by the way. It's uh, poor data. It's only got ten, a sample of 10 observations. Earnings in thousands of dollars. Ex work experience in years. Female, which is a dummy variable coded 1 if it's female, 0 if it's male. All right. Let's fit a, a regression model where, with uh, IVs being experienced and uh, female. Go analyze regression linear then we put earnings into the dependent variable box and we pick these two and move them over to the independent box and we just and then okay now this is the box containing all the coefficients the under standardized coefficients is what I'm looking at now experience Minus, not point one f minus 0 0.015, the interpretation of that is for an additional year in, in of uh, work experience, the model predicts that the earnings will fall, because it's a minus sign, by 0 0.15 thousands of dollars, which is same as saying one, two, multiplying it by 1,000 to get $15, so a fall of $15. Uh, it doesn't you know that sign that uh, sign is uh, doesn't make sense in this example but I did say it's just fabricated data so just forget about that now female the interpretation that I see students make here is they say this for an additional increase one unit increase in female the model predicts that the earnings will increase by 0.8 thousand of dollars now if you just I'll say that again, if female increases by one unit, the model predicts that the earnings will increase by 0 0.8 thousand of dollars. Now what's wrong there is that it's not very meaningful, is it, to the say that if female increases by one unit, what does that mean? Does she turn into some kind of uh, something else? So that is not the way uh, which to interpret it. And that is because female here is a categorical variable, moreover it's a dummy variable. And with dummy variables, interpretation of the coefficients is the impact of on the dv of the thing that is coded 1 relative to the thing that is coded 0. So in other words, it's making a comparison between two groups here, female versus male. Not female versus male, it's that way around because male is has been coded 0 let's have a look again male has been coded 0 so it's tell that coefficient is telling us what's the earnings of females relative to males here it's 0.8 so it tells us that all things being equal i.e. with same years of experience a male and a male and a fe female and a male with the same years of work experience a female earns more than a male by 0.8 thousands of dollars. So that's how it should be. Say it that again. Female, the mole predicts that a female earns more than male by 0.8 thousand of dollars, all things being equal. Alright, so I hope you take that on board and remember anytime you see dummy variable, you're making comparisons with um, with um, the thing you're looking at to the thing that is coded zero for that for that uh, for that variable.